Welcome to the spring taste test where we're gonna be trying all the newest products that just landed at Trader Joe's. Plus, uh, is there any seasonal? There's one seasonal thing in here. Oh, and we're doing a little cheese taste test, string cheese taste test to be exact. So grab something to eat, sit down with us, and watch us taste all the new items at Trader Joe's. So we're gonna start with trying the cheeses. Should we try the new string? Well, they're not new, I keep calling them new, but the string cheeses are new to us. These are the organic string cheese and they look the exact same. I just wrote on one of them that it was the light one. So do you think we should try the light first and compare yeah. it with the regular or try the regular first and then compare it with the light? Let's do the light first. Light first, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? Um, a taste like normal cheese stick. <laughs> it, it tastes like a normal cheese stick? It mm -hmm. kind of does. Yeah. It kind of tastes like the other one that we normally get every it week. It does. It's a little bit different, but... Slightly. Very uh, similar in the same token. Like, I'm happy that it's not like crazy different because I'd actually prefer to buy the organic one instead of the other one, so... It has a weird aftertaste though, like a different aftertaste. I, I didn't say weird, but different. Yeah, definitely not weird. I think it tastes really good. I, li I like that one. Uh, and it is slightly different, but not by much. So what I personally like about the light string cheese compared to the regular is that it's a little more firm. And the regular ones are a little more soft. So, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, I'll, I'll let's try, try that out. Much softer. It's like a creamier. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's better than the other String cheese that's not light. Right, I agree. Um, hi, Orangey. <laughs> um, the cat's always trying to make her, she smells the cheese, probably. Um, so all in all, which one did you prefer? Did you like the first one or the second one we tried? I liked the light one, the first one we tried for. You better. did? Yeah. What about you? Did you like the first or the second one? Um, I like both of them. <laughs> okay. Um, I surprisingly like the regular version. Did you? Yeah, I felt like the regular one, um, not the light, was had a better taste to it. Um, definitely softer than the light one, and I like the light texture better, but I did like the flavor of the regular better. So, I don't know. It's a toss up now, I guess, because yeah, right. like the light, I like the regular, and he always likes both, so. <laughs> Okay, next up we're gonna be trying the vegan caramelized onion dip. I'm so excited to try this. The only thing I've heard about this is that it is on the sweeter side, so have something that is a little bit on the saltier side. So like I'm thinking potato chips. So I have our tried and true olive oil kettle chips that we love. Um, and I'm just gonna, we're just gonna dip it into the dip. Dip in the dip. Okay. It smells very delicious. It does. It smells amazing. I'm so excited. And it's really thick once again, just like last week's tzatziki. I put a yeah. lot on my chips. I can really taste it. Okay, I definitely get it, the sweetness from it. It's almost like the Maui onion chips, you know, like the sweet onion. That's kind of what it tastes like to me, the Maui, Maui sweet onion, but good flavor. Yeah, it's like the, the onion flavor that you normally have in like an onion dip is not changed, but mm -hmm. the base that we're dipping it in is clearly, it's a vegan dip, so yeah. um, there, I think that's where you get the sweetness, right? I, I don't know. I don't, you think it's I, from the onion? I think it's from the onion, personally. It's the onion that I'm tasting that has that sweetness, and there is like, you know, Maui, it tastes just like a Maui sweet onion. Yeah. Um, like those chips that we like when we go to Maui. <laughs> Honestly though, these are really good. This these dip, are delicious. This dip is great. Yeah. It's, it's a good win for the for anybody that wants um, to try something good. Definitely it. though, just be prepared. It is definitely a sweeter dip than I was expecting, but nonetheless delicious and this will definitely be consumed by us. Did you like the dip? No. No, you didn't like it? Okay, fair enough. So Tim is going to be pouring us the... French Market Sparkling Berry Lemonade. Yes, and it matches his shirt. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Is this new? No, okay, it's so. not new. We just haven't had it before. Um, it's really sweet. I feel like it's a little on the synthetic tasting side. A little bit, and it's also very light flavored. Yeah, it's it not is, like it's very light. It's not like overpowering and really bold like fruit flavor to it. Uh, it's like a light lemonade with a uh, quite a bit of sh uh, like a sugary. Yeah, taste it's very sugary. Did you like it? Uh huh. 
Is it sparkling? Uh -huh. Did you want more? Uh-huh, yes, I like it. Well, you can hold the glass yourself, honey. <laughs> Benson likes it, obviously it's sugary, so he likes it. <laughs> the sparkling gets him every time, though. Next up, we are going to be trying the uh, dragon fruit. So my coworker recommended putting a little sugar on there, so I sprinkled some coconut sugar, so we're gonna see how that tastes. Um, and we've had dragon fruit before, we all like it. Do you remember liking it last time? I think so. Yeah, I remember loving it, so. Mmm, super juicy. Um, the little seeds give it a little crunch. It's just really good all around. I was gonna say, I tried a little bit um, before I plated it without the sugar, and it was just delicious. It has a very subtle sweetness. The sugar really does step it up a notch and gives it a little bit more of that sweetness. Um, but I don't think it's necessary. I think you can eat it just plain and it's it's just great as it is. Yeah, I don't know how much there is to say about it. It tastes just like the other dragon fruit we've tried before. Um, but I do like those little, the part of dragon fruit is those little seeds. They're mm. not like hard seeds. You know, they're yeah, like- they're crunchy. Kinda. They're crunchy, but like the right consistency mm -hmm. that uh, nature did it right. <laughs> I agree. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to, do you wanna try, taste the new Stroop waffles? So these Let's are the it. little mini Stroop waffles. Ooh, they're like little mini good. cookies. They're this mm. size, they smell like cinnamon. They do smell like cinnamon. They smell really good. And there's caramel in the middle. Mm. Oh, they're soft. Mm-hmm. Mm, I good. guess they get really soft if you put it on top of your coffee. The big ones. These yeah. ones obviously are not big enough to like put it on the mug, but. But you can definitely dip in your you coffee like really easy mm -hmm. with these ones. I honestly was thinking that it was gonna be like crunchy and wasn't really looking forward to it that much, but these are good. Mm -hmm. I like these. It kind of tastes like gingerbread a little bit. Really yummy. Okay, we're gonna try the honey now. The creamed multi-floral New Zealand honey. Wow, okay, so this is definitely a creamy looking uh, honey. It is very light in color. It's. It reminds me a lot of the raw honey that I buy at Trader Joe's in general. Like, that's my favorite honey. I put it on toast. This ex looks exactly like it. It's not raw though, um, so, but it's exciting. I love this kind of honey. This is my favorite kind of honey, but let me try it and tell you. <laughs> oh wow, that's really flavorful. I really like the consistency of it, the creaminess mm, to it, because yeah, it too. really is creamy. It's not like you said, really like good. watery or yeah. too sticky. Um, and I don't really like honey, so like I won't really comment too much on the flavor, but I think it's, I think, is this floral, did you say? Mm -hmm. It does have a, so I feel yeah. like it has some type of floral flavor Multi -floral. to it. floral it's really good. Like, mm -hmm. I just feel, feel like you could, well, I personally love it on toast. I'll just do like a piece of toast with honey and a little cinnamon sprinkled, and that's like my favorite um, breakfast, and I haven't had that in a long time, but I might start doing that again. Um, sometimes I even add peanut butter or almond butter. So all in all, I think that the honey is a big win in my book. It's now probably my second favorite honey that Trader Joe's sells. Now to what I've been waiting for the most, the strawberry swirl cheesecake. This stuff is looks amazing. I couldn't wait. I dug, dug right in. That is really good. Mm. Oh my goodness. I love cheesecake. Yeah, this I is, do too. This, this is does amazing. not disappoint at all. It's very rich. Um, the strawberry flavor isn't super dominant, like you can taste it, but it's really um, kind of on the lighter side. If you wanted to, you could probably add some more strawberry on top, um, like a frozen bag of strawberries and just let it all defrost together. One thing that one of my coworkers told me about this is that it reminded them of those strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm tasting it, I totally agree. It definitely does. Do you guys remember those? Like from the ice cream man, they have little strawberry shortcake with the little, what is it, like sprinkles over the top, They're like crumbs. Such a good ice cream bar. <laughs> this tastes so much like it. So if you like this that. Is, this is so good. Oh my gosh, as you've noticed, I'm pretty much finishing my whole piece already in like it's two seconds. Yummy. Yeah, it's delicious. I mean, cheesecake is so good. And it's so disappointing when it's done wrong. <laughs> so this is um, not disappointing. It's a relief, really. <laughs> now that we've just devoured our cheesecakes, um, Benson is going to open the truffle box and he's gonna pick out one of the chocolates that he wants to eat and get on a total sugar overload. So that's okay. 
These are for vi the video and he has a lot of fun doing this. So I hope you guys enjoy his excitement and um, yeah, it's fun to watch a four year old opening a gift and especially one with chocolate inside. Okay, go ahead and open it. There you go, rip it open. There you go, big yeah. ribs. <laughs> Yay! All right! A box? Let's go. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, let's show everybody. I, I don't remember this. You do? Yeah. Okay, let's show everyone what they look like. So there's two levels of the same thing on the top and the bottom and there's a bunch of different chocolates in here and Benson's gonna pick which one looks the best to him. All right, okay. he picked the heart. So go ahead and take a bite and let us know how it is. What, which one is the heart? It's the hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut, okay. Mm. You like it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. You think people should get these for their Easter baskets? Mm-hmm. And Mother's Day? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for this week's taste test. I hope you enjoyed it. We definitely are on a sugar high now because that was a lot of sugar and there's no way I'm trying to chocolate out of that box. Um, but very successful week once again. And if you guys join us next week, there's gonna be a lot more very exciting new products. One of them going to be in a uh, coffee flavored hold the cone. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Yes. So Dangerous. you don't want to miss that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.